When I started in industry, mobile phones were brand new. And nowadays, I mean, everybody's got a mobile phone. And if you go back 20 years ago, um, they were analog. They were just big walkie-talkies. We then went digital, which was 2G. 3G started to introduce data and data services, but LTE is the next evolution. And basically, it just gives you more bandwidth, more data to your handset. So with more data to your handset, you can do more things. Phones in the next couple of years would pay for everything, but is that secure? How much testing has been done? How much faith as a user do you have that if you scan your phone, it's going to come out of your bank account and me sitting next to you isn't going to dip into your bank account? And unfortunately, it goes back to security and security of data. If you're doing a penetration test on yourself to make sure your network's secure and you find something that's completely unknown, there's an ethical question as well as a legal question on that, and that does raise a lot of issues. There's a lot of debate within the security section of networking on, you know, do I go out and tell everybody? Well, if I tell everybody, then people that want to do harm are going to use it. Do I then go back to the manufacturer? And there are guidelines and there's regulations that are starting to come in, and they do look at the law implications and the ethics on networking and the data that's held on those, those networks, really. Uh, yeah, reload them. Four hours. Primarily what I teach as a senior lecturer in networking is, is, is that networking. So it's how the internet is, is built and all the rules and all the regulations that go with working on the internet and setting up a network. We've got six rooms with four racks in. There's over a million pounds worth of kit. You're not going to find that anywhere else, anywhere in the UK. And because we've got that kit, it means that we can build really large networks, we can demonstrate it, and we can have a lot of fun building the networks and then playing games on it and showing the practical elements and then feeding back in the theory because we need to have a, a good, solid knowledge of you know, why it's doing what it's doing. So we've got DLS1 and ALS1, which are those two. That the next big thing, it's probably going to be cloud computing that. and it's probably going to bring your own device because most people don't want to have two phones, two laptops at work. Uh, people just want one device, they want a phone, and they want their laptop. So as I come into work, my laptop goes, oh yes, I'm in, I'm in the works environment, I know the works wireless is on, I'm now in the works mode, I walk out, and it switches back to, to being mine, so I've got all of my music, all of my messages from my friends on Facebook, and that's what people want now, they want a seamless interaction of technology. It doesn't need to be, uh, a phone. It just needs to be something that I can communicate with. It needs to be seamless and that's where we're going with technology over the next couple of years.